Wanna check it out? There's that Cisco. That's an interface card for this baby. This is a, uh, a Dell Equalogic. That's upside down at the moment, but we got 24 drive base, three and a half inch, two power supplies. These things are beefy too. They're like thousand watt power supplies each. And there's two interface cards here. And then down here, I've got, this is the R715 and it's got the two LSI controllers. I'm probably going to pull these out and either stick them in here or just hold off on them for the time being because I've got a NetApp card that will fit in here and I'm going to see if it will work in this case uh, for this baby. Uh, this one right here, I gotta, I gotta power this one up and tweak around with it, make sure I get all the data off of it. These are all, I think 1.5 terabyte drives, these are all 500. And I've got some other drives, so I'm thinking of ripping all these out and putting bigger ones in here. Uh, but I may just hold off on that, because uh, this is all SATA, that's fine. These are SATA drives, these are 2, 2, and 2. So it's possible that I could just rip all of these drives out and put them here, but they're currently actually being used. So I've got to pull the data off of here, put it onto here, when I got that one up and running. And this thing here, lots of hard drives, lots of space. Uh, this is another PowerEdge uh, 715 that I got. Uh, it's currently running my PFSense box. But, you know, it is what it is. This is an R310. I don't have any drives for it because they kind of have to be... There's no trays. They just load in and, and go. Uh, so I'm going to do something with it. But I've got it here because I need to get it out of the way. And then I've got the PowerEdge 2321DS. This is a IPKVM. Uh, this is PowerEdge 180S AS. This is a non-IPKVM, but it's the same type of Avicent uh, descendant. Uh, where it uses a device like this. Uh, it's got either PS2 cables or USB and then VGA and then it plugs into to that and it is directly connected to this which is cool because that is uh, that's the SASE, that's my storage drive, that's the that's the 2950 um, and then I've got Overseer, which is the which is the PF Sense box, but that's this. And then this thing here is actually a 16 port trip light, uh, but I've only got the one port connected. The rest of the ports I don't have plugged in at all because I have no need. Because I've got this connects directly to that, and then this can go anywhere. I can uh, I can plug those PEMs in all over the place. I can even run it other places in the in the facility. I can run it to that rack over there and connect it to stuff there, connect it to everything in here. I could even connect it over to my my, my main desktops or uh, maybe the PlayStation. I could plug this into the PlayStation. Ooh, that might be a way to remote access the PlayStation. Always thinking. Uh, otherwise, uh, so yeah, I got this stuff in here now. Uh, I've got a lot of this stuff off the floor. That right there was filled with stuff. Um, this was filled with stuff a couple days ago, and I had to pull all of it out, resort all the boxes, repack stuff, uh, put things on shelves, pack stuff back up, and put it all back in place. Um, I still have to move this cabinet, and I've got some ceiling tiles over there that I got to finish uh, installing for putting some finishing touches on stuff. Uh, and then otherwise, uh, this stuff is going to get shifted and moved. Uh, these are for a crazy project that I'm working on. It's my old Dell workstation. Uh, so far, so good. Um, got this stuff back here. I gotta get it. Uh, <laughs> I actually have to pull the sun machines out. Oh no. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. Uh, these ones down here, I might actually go ahead and just install into the rack. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. They're not exactly worth plugging in, but they're kind of nifty to have. And then I've got another shelf on the bottom that all this stuff is sitting on. Uh, this one, I don't really know where I got it. I might sit it somewhere. Maybe I'll use it as a shelf, like a nightstand. It's just a big hunk of metal, and it's metal. Anyway, um, let's close this, because this is noisy. There we go. Um, I got to move all this stuff. I've got a video coming up on this Kinesis Advantage, uh, Advantage, the Freestyle Edge. Got a video coming up on that. This is the old, uh, that's why I said Advantage. This thing here is the old Advantage 2, and it is the 
the, the, the QD faceplate before I swapped it out for the graphite one. That's some artwork I need to hang. Uh, you can't even see that one. Let me see if I can show you this because this is actually really awesome. Mm, I'll get a good picture of that at some point. Um, I still got to get this up and running. I just found these cool serial cables. Plugged them in before I took the trip up to LNT. Uh, but otherwise, you would never believe what I paid for this. I keep showing it off because it's cool. It's a 3Com. It is a four-port switch from the late 90s. I probably paid like $250 for it. $250 for a four-port switch. Unmanaged. With an uplink port. So it's really like a three-port switch. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I think that's all for now. Uh, I'll have more stuff coming up. I've got video on this. Uh, and this, which is a USB 3 uh, flash drive doing some tests with that thing and then I've got this one to do some more testing on which is very similar to this except it's better uh, and this check that out this is a, a desk mat from Peter Moorbacher I'll put a link in the description for this guy because this stuff is awesome I got a lot of his stuff all over the place anyway that's it I'm done